when you go over the 200 foot drop, you are actually face fall, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible style falling. You cannot process what is happening in that initial launch. You're going about 75 miles an hour up to 120 degrees up in the air. Every other ride is a free fall where ours is actually pushing you down. There's only so many people in the world that can build you a roller coaster, especially on a, on a magnitude and a scale that you would have at say like a, a Six Flags or even a Lagoon. SS Worldwide is an amusement park ride and roller coaster manufacturer located here in Logan, Utah. People even in the Valley are surprised when I say I work for a roller coaster manufacturer. They don't know we're here. Um, and even industry-wise, it's pretty unique that we're in Utah. The two founders were Stan and Sandy Checkets. That's where S and S come from. Well, they're from Providence, Utah, right here in Cache Valley. And so he's like, we're gonna build the headquarters right here and keep it here and it's been here ever since. They wanted a ride that felt like your dad was throwing you up in the air and letting you fly and then catching you, that, that amazing feeling that little kids ride. Our rides are worldwide. We have rides everywhere from China, um, Japan, Australia, in the States, all over the States, Canada. We have a ride on every continent except for Antarctica and maybe Africa. <laughs> we have the tallest swing ride. We also have the roller coaster with the most inversions in North America. We also have one for the highest inversion of any coaster. The rides of ours you'd be most familiar with in Utah is the Lagoon Tower Ride, Rocket and Reentry. Rocket is a space shot where you get launched up immediately, and then Reentry is our turbo drop where you get raised slowly and then launched um, downwards. We're the only company that can actually launch you up with our patented pneumatic air launch technology and also launch you down. Every other ride is a free fall where ours is actually pushing you down. Fastest ride right now in the world, as far as acceleration, is actually called Max Force. It's at Six Flags Great America, just outside of Chicago. The highest ride that we've ever built is still current. Just over 200 feet. Fourth dimension. It is a ride that uses a very proprietary and unique system where you actually have two coaster rails instead of one for each set of wheels. Fourth Dimension Coaster actually has winged seating. The passengers are sitting on either side of the track, so you're completely suspended the whole time. So you're in a vehicle that rotates as it goes through the track. And so when you go over the 200 foot drop, you are actually face fall Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible style, falling kind of spread eagle and then the last minute we rotate you into a backflip into the rest of the ride and then continue to rotate you throughout so it's it is utterly terrifying in the best way possible our ideas for rides come from a few different ways so either a park can come to us and say hey we have this idea for a ride can you do this one of my favorite ways though that we come up with ride concepts is called Thinkathon. We get to submit designs, whether it's a whole new ride concept or let's make this ride better. I think one of the hardest things is that there's always more that I want to do. There's always limitations with budget, with space. And a lot of times these limitations actually help us come up with creative solutions and unique and fun solutions to a ride. But sometimes you're just like, oh man, if only I had 500 feet more of track that I could use, then I could do something really cool here. After it's fully engineered, well, we tend to and enjoy building prototypes at our facilities. So we build in these redundancies to make sure that even when we have failures, if they're small failures or large failures, there's other things in place that keep a rider safe. We build them and we bring parks out to ride them, our employees ride them, and we just make sure that it's a feasible ride to build, maintain, that it's an enjoyable ride experience. And that's kind of my favorite part of the ride design experience is obviously getting to ride the prototypes because it's pretty fun. <laughs> our most popular ride right now is our Scream and Swings. So you have two different swings or gondolas. When one goes forward, the other will go backwards and they're powered by air. It's almost like spit wads back in school. Just put a lot of air pressure behind something and push it out and it makes it go. So you're going about 75 miles an hour 
up to 120 degrees up in the air. So not quite all the way around, but getting really close. I am not nervous to ride any roller coaster. They don't scare me at all anymore. Instead of just sitting back and appreciating all the, the fun artsy stuff and how great the ride is, I'm like, I feel like every time I get on, I'm technically evaluating this ride and it's kind of ruined me in a way, but it's, it's helpful for the job too. So I do get to ride a lot of roller coasters.